Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Back with another banger, another story, another video, guys. If you're here for the first time, hi hey guys, my name is Ferdinand. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into it, guys. Yesterday was a hell of a stressful, stressful night. I'm not gonna lie, it was stressful. So basically, the story of yesterday, right? So I, as you already know, if you watch my previous mini vlog, I went to, I traveled from Cardiff, you know, to Leicester for my stepbrother burial, right? And I came back to Cardiff on Thursday, got to town at six o'clock, and I had and I had to go to work at seven thirty. Bear in mind that I was already stressed; I was so tired, like literally. So I got to work thinking that oh man it's gonna be calming and stuff like that. So if so my job is basically it's the title of my job is hostel officer. So with my job, you know, we support you know our homeless people in accommodation in different hostels across um, the city. And so I was thinking like you know what well, today is gonna be chill. It's gonna be quiet. No, there's always something going on. Someone has to upset me like anyhow so basically what happened was um that was this guy right i'm not gonna name i'm not gonna call anyone's but this guy came through uh you know he came and he asked you know the security uh for stuff i uh, say so he was like he wanted he want to see stuff because he wanted to pull um his clothes into the dryer so i came out and i told him that i'm sorry but the dryer you know has been leaking so therefore we cannot allow any anyone to use the dryer so therefore the laundry room is out of order this guy this guy after explaining the issue he wouldn't take it he's like no i should let him in right now i'm like listen the dryer is not working like well, I'm not speaking gibberish. The, the dryer is not working. It's leaking. So it is out of order. So someone's going to come and get it sorted out. It's like, no, I should let him in. You know, this guy's been off. This guy has been rude. He was like, oh, you know, the staff, I want to speak to, you know, another member of staff. I was like, no. The, the other member of staff is not even here like he's even 10 minutes late maybe if you want to wait for him once he get once he once he get to work then you can have a word with him this guy kept on going and going and going and literally i was there saying the same thing i'm sorry but no matter what you say you can even bring heaven down i'm telling you like i'm telling you that you can't use this laundry room mama was so mad he was he was you know chatting bare you know rude stuff he was just you know saying ridiculous things and and for me i think i got a little bit offended right yeah that's the train just uh going past i got i got a little bit offended because like here i am you know trying to be all nice and you know trying to tell you what the situation is but no you're just taking it on me like straight up <laughs> and I was just standing and I'm like wow and the, the worst part is that you know the guys start being racist right you know you know the funny things right when you're dealing with um, an African you I mean I'm African you're dealing with someone who's African and then they've been racist towards you come on man come on seriously he's like he was like oh i'm always being targeted by you know these african black people and i'm just kind of like he's taking it on me i was just standing there i was like wait <laughs> but <laughs> what are you talking about you're <laughs> you're african you know why would i you know be having a go at you like come on like listen i was like all i did right was tell the guy that he can't use the laundry room you see sometimes these you know these people like when they can't get their way right that's when <laughs> that's what they say the maddest things like i was literally standing down like trying to like you know tell him like oh look you can't use it my man just went off he went upstairs he came back do you know what he asked me he asked that i should get him a complaint form so he so so that he can put a complaint um you know in i was like fair enough you know there you go 
And I was like, yeah, you you were being racist towards me. And he was like, no, me saying that our oh, African people, um, you know, black people, you know, that's not being racist. I was like, well, okay, if that's not racist to you, like I felt offended. I felt like you're being racist, you know, towards me personally. And then he was trying to like, you know, change, like, cause he knows that I'm gonna I'm gonna put complaints as well. He was trying to like, you know, manipulate, trying to change. Like, oh, I didn't say this, or I didn't say that. Guys, let me know. I, I know a lot of people that have worked, you know, in 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 with 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 in in, in mental health or in in um in the support work or even in healthcare, working with you know people who have mental issues. Like I know a lot of you, especially if you live in the UK. Like I know you guys have gone through <laughs> some of these situations. Like I've got a lot of more stories, guys. But like, let me know in the comment section below. Like in your line of work, yeah. What what has been the worst experience? Like you know you had to face. I mean, this is not. Well, it is. It is. It is. It is. It's a bit concerning. But let me know. Like your, your, the sort of experiences that you had to go through like on your shift right so like literally i came out this morning and i am so tired well let me know do let me know in the comment section below but i just thought let me like you know get this story to you guys as i as i as i always say this channel is about you know bringing stories and just kind of like talking and you know just you guys coming on this journey with me guys if you're watching this make sure make sure don't go without subscribing guys Thank you so much and uh, guys let me know if there's any other stories that you know you've encountered um, any stories as an African just let me know but thank you so much guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow